what was it like working with Elvis Presley? Because I know also Whitney's mom, Sissy Houston, sang yes. with him as well. Right. What was it like working with Elvis Presley? You know what made him so great for us? Mm -hmm. He loved gospel music. Elvis has won three Grammys, and they were all for gospel music. I had no idea. Mm, most people don't know that. They don't know that. So when we were in the studio recording, he wasn't there, and he wasn't expected to come. Because, you know, we were doing the music for the special, yeah. so with the band and everybody, but Elvis wasn't there. And then we look up, and Elvis showed up. He said he wanted to be a part of it, mm. you know, making the special, and especially the gospel part. And then we were not supposed to be in that scene. He said he wanted the blossoms in that scene. Oh. That's why we were in it. So it wow. made it great for us. And then we made a movie with him after that. He was a preacher, a minister, right? And we had a gospel segment in it. And he, oh, no, the blossoms got to be in this. <laughs> so that what made our union so really great wow. and so friendly. Because when they were trying to shoot the scenes mm -hmm. and we were off somewhere singing, he'd go get his guitar and he'd do you guys know this one? Wow. You know, so Just it was down home gospel yeah, music. Yeah, which was yeah. wonderful. And he told me the story about in the South where he used to go up to black churches. Mm -hmm. And, you know, back in the day, we didn't have no air conditioning. Right. We don't we <laughs> roll the windows. That's right? right. He said he'd go up to the windows and just listen, just listen to the music. Mm -hmm. So wow. it took me way back. I yeah. said, you really did do something. You mm -hmm. love this music. Because, yeah. you know, back in the day, we had that loud tambourine yes. and that clankety clank <laughs> <Yeah>. piano. <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting. Interesting because so many of your stories were working with these white icons, you have good memories. But back then, music was really very segregated. Very. Um, and, and you know, now, of course, you and Chris working together, it, it's not such a shocker because it's like, you know, we see that all the time now. We no. see black artists and white artists working together. Right. But back then, we didn't really see that as much. No, and, you know, you remember back in the day, the, the channels were even separated. Segregated. It yeah. was the top 20, and mm -hmm. that was all white. Yeah. Then they had the top 40, which was all black, yeah. and they didn't come together. Yeah. That's what got Phil Spector over. He never made any, got any pictures of the Blossoms or the Crystals or oh. Bobby Sox and the Blue and Jeans. What? Because they couldn't figure out if we were black or white. So they started playing our records. And, and Phil something. Spector made sure they played our records. He never told them we were black. I mean, he didn't say we weren't. Right. But they never asked. They never asked. So he never he told. Never said. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that is so crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But hey, and listen. look and, and look at how far we've come because now you're working with Chris and and you're showing him the way and and giving him to the lidge and and you know lending your legendary, you know, status and voice. To young Chris. You know what? You don't realize you're doing it until something comes up. Like this morning when we was doing Good Morning America, they were doing certain things and saying certain things. I was like, child, don't worry about that. That's what they do all the time. <laughs> right. <laughs>